6 o'clock on a Monday before we expect to see more freezing rain. So at this hour on this Monday, I just want to show you, here's Portland, the camera's out, but 26 degrees, southeast winds at 19. Here's Salem, 37, a light north wind. Boy, what a difference. And notice Seattle, 44 degrees. <laughs> How about that? All right, and wait, there's more. Let me take you to my Metro page. This is the desktop site. So again, Portland 26, Vancouver 27, Longview 31, Scappoose a little bit warmer, Hillsboro 28. There's Trotto, east winds at 30 miles per hour, basically, still gusting into the 40s. And uh, when you get out into the gorge, the winds are still from the east, gusting as high as about 80 miles per hour. So I want to show you that because tomorrow um, is going to be an event where we're going to see great varying conditions. I think during the early morning hours there's a good chance of much of the valley from Longview down into uh, Salem will have at least freezing temperatures and with light moisture arriving let's say around 7 I don't think it's steady light moisture but there'll be some scattered showers of light freezing rain around. Now is it possible that warmer spots like Salem are actually 32, 33 in the morning? Yeah it's possible um, but we do know this Areas where the east winds are blowing, that's downtown Portland, that's back out into the gorge, that's Camas, Walshugal, uh, Troutdale, Gresham, absolutely likely that there's a significant period of freezing rain during the day on Tuesday. The morning precipitation looks fairly light. It picks up, let's say, by early afternoon, 1 o'clock, and becomes steady and heavy. At that time, most areas away from the gorge itself, maybe downtown Portland, I'm not sure, but other areas, Salem, will be warming up and just see rain for the rest of this event. But it's very possible that Gresham, Camas, maybe Portland downtown, get some fairly bad icing tomorrow with those east winds still blowing, the temperature not warming, and there being a big fat problem. In fact, the weather service in the gorge itself, including Cascade Locks and Hood River, has posted an ice storm warning. This could be 24 to 36 straight hours of freezing rain in the gorge with one inch ice accumulations bad enough conditions I think there's a decent chance of I-84 will have to be closed at some point so that really looks like a mess in terms of the flooding threat uh, with the moisture coming in tomorrow and then heavier rain Tuesday night Wednesday that's still in the forecast as a possibility it's going to be really sloppy around here as temperatures eventually warm and the snow starts to melt keep an eye on the temperature Wednesday it's a tough forecast to predict really we're going to have to kind of wait and see what we have and I'll talk to you soon.